and be like an American. Bob stay at work. Bob's work as a manager in a furniture store. Peter, his boss is happy about sales. Bob's new advertising campaign helped, and Peter, he decided to fire him. Bob, I had to break the news, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, Peter? Yeah, this did everybody chopping the car from the dishes. Eggs will need to close. But every single they cost us an arm and a leg. That's true, they do charge top dollar. And they say people are very strange. They really give me the briefs. Well, they must be doing something over there. Meanwhile, we are going to pay up. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought that my new advertising campaign would take the day. Let's face it, your advertising campaign was a real flop. Well, then I will go back to the drawing board. Too late for that, you are fired. What? You are giving me the axe? Yes, I already find a new manager. She's a sharp as a tag. Can we keep him talk this over? After all, I have been working here for 10 years. There's no point in arguing, Bob. I already made up my mind. Oh, well. At least I won't have to bottle with your nonsense anymore. Goodbye to you and goodbye to this dead end job. Please leave us with my temper. Today at work. But Bob, you are Peter's right hand man. Yes, and he stabbed me in the back. Give your chin up. Maybe you change his mind and take your back. Who we'll takes the flag? After he makes up his mind, he never changes. Besides, I have told them off. Look at the bright side. You don't have to set eyes on Peter ever again. Thank God, Miss for that. Hang in there. I am sure you won't be out for for long. In the meantime, we'll have to live from hand to mouth. Don't get stressed out, Bob. We will make ends meet. You will make ends meet. I can always get a job at McDonald's as a last resort. Mm, I don't think they are hiring right now. If worse come to worst, we can sell our home and move into a tent. Let's think big. Maybe you can start your own business. Easier said than done. 